Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Blind Elden Ring playthrough. In the last episode, we crossed through all of Castle Morn, minus a minor section, which we will go back to uh, later in today's episode. But for now, I'm not going to leave you in uh, suspense anymore. Let's just go inside and figure out what the hell is going on and lose our 3,400 runes. Leonine misbegotten. There's some wolves. Oops. I messed that up. Eesh. Oh, he got staggered so easy. What? Oh, damn. That's a lot of damage. Get him, boys. Dude, wolves are just dominating this dude right now. What? Get him, boys. Wow. Grafted Blade Greatsword. That was so easy. I could have done this in the last episode. <laughs> what the hell? I just destroyed this man's whole career. I hope he wasn't her father. Well, there you go. That's that. We killed his ass real good. Oh, yeah, can I? Add charge to flask. Nice. Increase amount replenished by flasks. Okay. Allocate flask charges. Sounds good. Level up. More vigor. Like I said, we're going to be taking it up to 20. And then we're going to figure out what we're doing next. Probably gonna go for Dexterity 14, because it's just like a better number. I eventually want to get to like Dexterity uh, 16. Anyways, we got ourselves a beefy sword. And of course, it requires... 40 strength? Well, there's your strength weapon, Rurikan. Uh Oath of Vengeance. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon that is burdened with oceans of anger and regret, one of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration while the oath's effects are active. Poise will also be increased. That is an... Ugly looking sword. I mean, it's plenty of swords, but so That's a big boy Nah, what does this look like? Okay, that's a beefy boy weapon, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it with our axe because that's the proper dwarven thing to do now, continuing onwards, let's explore this arena a little bit more, but I don't know if there's anything here. It's like a big gravesite and whatnot. I feel like there's probably not going to be anything here. I'm actually surprised it was that easy. I think this might be one of the problems with the open world nature of Elden Ring. Because, like, I, you know, I did so much exploration before I did, like, my first... Is this even... Can this even be considered my first real boss? Like, I feel like I fought dungeons that were harder than this. So, I don't know. It's weird. So, maybe the fact that, you know, you're exploring the world and you're leveling up and doing all of these things can lead to, basically, when you do meet up with a boss, you just, like, trounce him. Because, like, we just trounce this. Although... A big deal was because of the wolves. Maybe I shouldn't have used the wolves. It's just like, I usually use everything the game gives me. Like, I'm not going to give myself. I was just like, oh, 
This is my first attempt. Let's learn this boss. I'm gonna pop wolves to get myself more openings to learn the move set. And then the wolves just destroyed him. Oh, there's something back there. Alright, we have to go explore that. We have to go explore that and loot that thing in the back there. Okay. And also we gotta go back to the start of this uh, of this thing to explore the side of the castle that I didn't explore. Somber smithing stone. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Castle Morn for you. Y'all don't mind. I'm just gonna go on back. Uh, actually, I should be able to. Can I teleport from here? I can. Oh, that's a cool little picture there. I hadn't. Oh, right. I hadn't even seen the map properly since the since the thing. So I'll have to go to Morn Tunnel, but for now I want to go to Castle Morn Lift, behind the castle, behind the Rampart Jail. Which one's this one? Nope, this is not the one that we want. So we'll have to go from the Morn Lift. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, I feel like, crossing over to where I need to go to do the rest of the exploration that I didn't do, but uh, we'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and call the elevator back. Can I jump down from here? Nah, yeah, that goes straight into a death drop. We don't want that. I am still surprised that we just, like, trounced that boss. I wonder how hard Margaret the Fell is going to feel with our current setup. Elevator? Hello. Alright, right, right, right. Now, we are going to make our way through here. This is gonna be pretty oh, this is so dumb. How much wait, did I level up? I did. That's fine. I was about to say, how many runes do I have to be doing this friggin' death run right now? Oh, pumpkin head boy didn't even aggro. Okay, so we're gonna go here, then we're gonna climb upwards. Stop this. Doesn't look like anybody's gonna chase me, which is good. Now let's explore the rest of the castle. So, the one thing that I didn't explore was down through here. Listen, I already destroyed your leader, alright? I got his ass killed. And he's dead now. Now it's y'all's turn. Not even hesitating right now. Can I hit him? You missed. He was trying to do a plunging attack on me, but he missed terribly. Now we have Home Slice over here, who's actually in the general direction that we're heading down to. See, this is the thing that I didn't do. Okay, let's see what's happening here. The one spot of the castle that I did not... Yeah, see, we went over there. There was a side of Lost Grace. So I'm guessing that the actual progression is that you're supposed to do this section and then you're supposed to go and defeat the leader. I probably shouldn't have, should have done this before I actually went the leader. Sit down, bro. Okay, so these guys are fighting each other. I can probably kill the humans a lot more- Whoa! A lot easier than that big boys, so we'll just take care of the humans real quick. What's up? Why don't you sit down? wonder if we'll find the little girl's dad. Okay, boys, I'm just gonna cleave my way through here. Alright, Dwarven Subtlety is the way. Who's that? 
this be the girl's father? Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Sacrificial twig. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Shh, nobody tell him about the sword now. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see Arena, her father... Well, this is awkward. So about that sword, you wouldn't happen to mean this sword, would you? If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her is it <laughs> once he's fulfilled his duty. Is it this sword? Is it, hello? Is it, is this if the sword from Castle Morn? No. Okay. Hey, we found her dead. You know, we tried our best. Ooh, I got an iron cleaver at some point. This is another strength scaling weapon. Wild strikes. Fairly large iron cleaver, commonly used by the maltreated, misbegotten. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often at rushing up to foes. Oh, that's actually pretty small. Nice. Oh, you can you can rush when you do this. Would be cool if you would keep your shield up while you're doing it. I like that little charging attack. That's a lot of reach. All oh, right, this is the wrong one. Okay, that's pretty neat, but we're not using that. Nothing beats the Great Axe. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can just leave. Uh, and we can go, like, over here. I think his daughter was... Re Actually, his daughter is... Wait. Isn't his daughter, like... She's somewhere in here. So let's just go to the lift. Then from the lift, we'll find a daughter. We'll talk to her. We'll figure it out. Uh, and from there, I'm probably going to start heading back to Limgrave. Irina! Where are you at, Irina? I wonder if the dude will leave, uh, into... Wait. I've never been to the top of that thing. And yeah, this is where she was. Oh, no! Who the fuck killed her? Okay, that's messed up, dude. What the hell? Like, I'm doing this quest. It's like, dude, Miyazaki can't let us have, like, anything. Anything at all. You get nothing. And the worst part is that there's not even a clue. I mean, sure, there's that blade, which indicates there was, like, one of the servants caught up to her. But how the hell are you supposed to prevent that? How are you supposed to prevent that one of the servers just randomly catches up to her and murders her?
Anyway, I'm going back because I want to explore the... There's like a, a thing that formed up a bridge on top of that. God damn it, I'm s I'm so sad, dude. I Cause like I feel like I made a mistake, you know? Rainbow stones. Yeah, see I saw that rock and I'm like, hmm. This crosses over to the other side. And it looks like I'd be able to get there, so let's dig it up. If I can even cross over the other side, would I be able to? Uh, looks like there's a pathway, a pathway here that would let me do that. But yeah, where does this go to? Wait, I've been here before. Yeah, this is the dungeon that we did, right? Yeah, we did this dungeon. Wait, I missed this item? Stone sword key. Have I been here before? I'm so confused. Was the item not there before? Am I going insane? Okay, look. Open world souls is just like you, we've given the developers too much power. That you can't do this. So in Paler's Catacombs, I did that one. I didn't mark it though. Uh, let's mark that. It's done. Besides the crater pocked glade. South of the lookout tower, Morn Tunnel. This is the one that I didn't do. And then Isolated Merchant's Shack. Okay, Church of Pilgrimage. Church of Dragon Communion, which we can go there to get a spell if we want to. Ah, uh, we've done this ruin. Waypoint, Waypoint Ruin Cellar. I don't remember if we did this one or not. We need to look for a map location here. Wait. So the map of this one was like here. There's no marks in the map. There's like this thing. Could that be the place where you get the map? Because it almost looks like it. Wait, so there's a thing that I can do which is adds a marker here. I need to have a look-see. Well, I, I won't be able to see it from here because I'm too far away. But, um... Yeah, I'm, hmm, I'm curious. Let's go over here. I should check in... Well, now that I've defeated, like, Castle Morn... Oh, that's where this is. Okay, before we go do another split, so indecisive, so incredibly indecisive. It's too hard, man. It's too hard to figure this out. Okay, table of lost quest. No, 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 no. Remove that. What are, what are we doing? Remove beacon. Okay. Uh, teleport. Yes. Let me see if I can talk to people now that supposedly I've defeated like a major foe and I've gotten a little bit of the Erd tree and all of that. Oh, the dude that was here is no longer here. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young she's a servant. She's been my I've lost count Okay, so this guy has got nothing. How about you? Those who live in death all You got nothing as well. Wait, was this open before? This wasn't open before. Hi. Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. What do you mean a house guest? Oh, are you aggrieved? At the notion you were but a visitant here, then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Interesting. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. 
These numby umby tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. We've spoken long. Okay. The wisdom of the two fingers. Okay, this one doesn't even say anything still. Would I be able to open this door now? Nope. That's probably PvP stuff, which we won't be doing on this playthrough, so we're not going to be able to actually engage with it. God damn. So much to do. Wait, I can... Oh yeah, I can rest here to get stuff. Would I be able to open the door? I don't want to talk to the priest guy. Am I able to open this? No, it's still blocked shut. Would that be the innermost chamber? If I jump down there, is the other dude going to invade me again? Probably not. There's the smith. Lady is still here. I'm not going to be exploring this every time, but I... So it looks like the person that we definitely need to catch up to is the guy that was in the chamber there. So we need to find him and catch up to him whenever we kill one of the major bosses of the game, I guess. How about this door? Is this uh, gonna open? No. Everything just, like, opens as time passes. It's a good thing we've gotten plenty of stone sword things. I figured those were gonna be rarer, but... Nope. Okay, we're good. We good here. We good here. So let's actually teleport out and let's head over here. Well, not here, actually. Let's go this way. It's probably a better one. And from here, we're going to try to find that marker that I put. Because I suspect that that might be where they have the map for that next zone. That's just for me to test that particular theory. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, I'll be able to cross over the bridge. Looks like it's on the other side of the bridge. Maybe I should go deal with Margaret, though. Several soldiers along the way. There's a dead body here. Hiding demi humans. Oh, there's an, uh, an earth tree over there. Side of Lost Grace over here. We're going to just go ahead and register that real quick. It's a big ass bear over there. Almost looks like the rune bear we fought. Several big ass bears. Yep, that marks a location where you can find a map. That's definitely a map location. So that's how you find them. Okay, I'll take that. There's also a hidden dungeon here. But I really don't want to explore this section too much because I still have things that I wanted to go do. I just wanted to see what that was about. Okay, so we'll remove that marker. And we've been there. Ooh. There's actually... Actually, we haven't been there. We were... Oh, so that means if I go here... I can go get another map there. 
Oh my god, so this is this makes it a lot easier for you to find where the stuff is in a map. Okay, good, 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 good. See, I, I just needed to test that theory was all. So, like I said, we're gonna do Morn Tunnel first. Because I want to complete each area before I move on. So we're gonna be doing this. Now this one's gonna be a little bit tricky. Because I remember that there were like... Things like all the way up top already that we could jump to. So we have to start upstairs before we actually... Well, maybe let's just start downstairs. Explore what's down here and figure it out. More of these rat people. Not rat people, but you guys get it. I like how slow they are. It's very convenient for me. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, so it looks like the main progression path from here is going to be down. So I'm actually going to go back and explore the caves up top. Okay, so this is just to get a smithing stone. There's one more cave that we can go and get. See, this looks just like that mine that we found earlier in Lindbergh. Again, this is one of the problems of, you know, uh, open world and needing to reuse assets. Stuff begins to feel a little bit too familiar, which is actually not something that I like seeing in a Soulsborne game recognizing assets, you know? Because they have to reuse assets when they're gonna have like, I don't know, let's say 50 dungeons or something. Just taking into account the stuff we've seen so far. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They have to reuse assets. Wait. What? I'm confused. Was it further up? I guess it was further up. I just missed it. One, dungeon number two, and I missed it, and that's a death. Unacceptable! How dare you die like that! Goddamn scrub! You goddamn scrub! I wonder if I'm supposed to just, like, jump down without the elevator. That might be what you're supposed to do. Let's call that elevator. Where are my souls even at? Oh, really? Over there? How inconvenient. Okay, let's go upstairs. Actually, I kind of want to go get my souls, but... Oh well, the hell with it. So let's see, is there a way for me to just, like, jump down? There is. I can just jump down from here. That's what you're supposed to do. And there's nothing here! Wow. Wow, dude, yeah, wow, dude, yay, great, good job, Rukhan. It's a good thing we went up there to explore that, that was great. That was fan friggin tastic Alright then, uh, let us continue. Uh, I say we cross over. yourself a little bit, buddy. That's him done. We can jump over there and go up, which actually seems like an interesting proposition. Let's go ahead and do that. It's so nice to be able to jump in this game. Oh, don't mind me. These guys are still tough as nails. Smithing stone one. Not particularly groundbreaking stuff. Let's take a look up here. See what else we got. Got 
Okay, that guy is sleeping. I should be able to sneak up on this one. Stab him in the gizzards! Yeah, that wakes up the sleeping boys. Ooh, you two gotta be a lot faster than that. I'm dying. Oh! My poise! You prick bastard! How dare you! Alright. These boys are done. Okay, there's that. Is this like a death drop? No. There's another one of them boys over there. You can backstab his ass. Smithing stone. Takes care of him. Let's pick this up. Golden rune. And I guess I'll backstab him too. Ooh, there's an angel dude over there. And another, not angels, whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Muppet looking bastards with wings. Let's backstab this boy. Is this the end of the line, or is this the boss fight? Ooh. Little shack. There's a dude over there who will attack me. Some more materials over there. There's another dude over here who will attack me. I go him. You see? Let's find out. How inconvenient. Oh well, we'll just have to chop you down the sides. Okay, looks like the other guy doesn't see us. It's behind door number one. Oh. Well, hello there. Large glintstone scrap. This is probably another one of those things that you can throw. Which the other one? He can see me if I come from here. Somber smithing stone. Oh well, we'll just have to give it to him. Just give it to him. Just give it to him! Give it to him raw like this! Again! Again! More of subtlety, baby! You get, if you guys are going to learn anything in this playthrough, you're going to learn a whole lot about dwarven subtlety. Dwarves are very subtle creatures, in case you weren't aware. Golden rune. Exalted flinch. I'm constantly expecting to get sucked through one of these things now into a different region, which is fun. It's really fun. I like that a lot. Although I guess in a dungeon... Have I been sucked through while in a dungeon? I don't think it's happened in a dungeon yet. I think it's mostly up in the o overworld. Why can I not target this dude? Is, is he dead? Oh, he's dead as fuck. He's dead as fuck. Really? There's nothing else here. Okay. Some slice over there saw me. He's got a big hammer, but he's not going to use it. You're not going to use that hammer. You're not going to hurt little old me. You're not going to hurt little old anybody. I read your dossier. Okay. Uh, looks like we can go even further down. Right. Oh, this is where they're chopping up people. Okay. Yep. 
This is where I could have fall down from up top. Murdered these dudes. Okay, that dude right there is sleeping. Where's his ass? Is this his ass? Oops. Okay, luckily it seems that nobody got alerted by me just senselessly slaughtering this creature. Which is nice, because now I'll senselessly slaughter this one. Die! 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 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Seriously? Nobody came down here? Soft cotton. Soft cotton. Some crafting material, I would imagine. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Let's focus on murdering this. Get murdered! Uh-oh. I think they're on to me. Guys, you think that they've realized that I've been sitting down here butchering everybody? I think they might have realized that. Oh, boys. What's up? That takes care of that. Solved our Muppets problem right fast. Okay, so we've been down there. We came from there. And I would assume there's a dude here. Oh, wait. That looks like that'll explode. I wonder if that barrel would actually explode. Let's break it to make sure it doesn't. Yeah, those barrels will probably explode if you, like, apply some fire to them. Arterial leaf. Some more smithing stuff. I like how the smithing stuff is actually embedded in the mountain. Like, that's cool. I wonder if it respawns. And there's our boss fight. We have four flasks. How many souls? 3,000? I'm willing to risk that. Oh, it's one of you. Let's go, wolves! There's no way it's just one. Right? Oh, it is. Oh, God, but it's relentless. It's harder than the supposed main boss we did earlier. Can I backstab him? Oh god. You poor creature. Stagger! It doesn't stagger at all. Wow, that was, uh... Yeah. Rusted Anchor. That's a weapon? It's a piercing great axe? <laughs> what? It's a piercing great axe. No way. What the hell? <laughs> it's a goddamn boat anchor. Dude, that's awesome. Look at that. What the hell? <laughs> it's a goddamn boat anchor. It's got the exact same movement as the 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 axe. <laughs> it's a fucking boat anchor. I can't believe this. As a Portuguese, I gotta tell you, I am very tempted to make this my main weapon. Because in case you guys didn't know, the Portuguese used to be the king the kings of the seas, man. We used to rule the seas. So beating down enemies with a goddamn boat anchor actually sounds uh, pretty appealing. I like the fact that it's a piercing type, though. That is really cool. I like that a lot. 
So yeah, we found uh, a very interesting great axe. Uh, it seems that it's got oh, it's it scales better with strength than the one we have right now. It scales better with strength than the, um, the default great axe, and it's rusted, so it deals ex extra tetanus damage. That's good. That's good. That's clear. So that would be another one that we can just add a thingamabob to. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We will just put a flag on there. That is done. Oh, I haven't done this weeping ever jail. I guess that'd be another thing that we could go do. Probably another boss fight. It'll take us quite a bit to kill. Uh, we can teleport to Tombsward Cave, which that- is that another one that I didn't do? Oh god, that's another one that I didn't do. There's so many dungeons in the game, though. I kind of feel like I'm doing, um... I kind of feel like I'm doing friggin... What are they called? The... The dungeons, the, the repeatable dungeons from... How can I have forgotten the name? The ones from Bloodborne. Oh no, this one's a poisonous area. I don't want this. Can I come here? Yeah, okay. Wait. I'm still gaining poison. Why? So it's just like the whole area that's poisonous? I'm still gaining poison. What? This whole place is poison. Why? Oh, well. Might as well deal with it. Poison bloom. Oh damn, there's poison spellcasters all over. Mushroom people. able to fancy like uh, an antidote with these things might be able to let's actually step here let's see real quick neutralizing bulbuses requires cave moss and great dragonfly head okay should have quite a few Okay, so I can use those when it gets too nasty. Interesting, I stopped building up poison. Why? That is weird. So, looks like there's two paths. We can go down here, or we can go down to the other side. Looks like there's flowers on this side. Some undeads that are lying down. Oh, this is the boss fight. Okay. Okay, so all of these are going to stand up when I pick this up. Poison Bone Dart. Actually, they didn't stood up. Why? Doesn't seem like they care. Okay. Fair enough. No! You nasty bastard! 
Get away from me. The disgusting nastiness blob. Oh. So if I go down here, I'm committing. Uh, 5,000? Yeah, sure, we'll commit. That's a dirty, nasty, goddamn rat! Dirty, nasty, rat! Rat bastard. Let's pop one of these. And I seem to remember that there should be an item up here, right? If this leads to where I believe it does. Except maybe it doesn't? Yeah, it does. I love the fact that you're actually expected to carry a torch with you. I think that's cool. Gives you a nice sense of, like, exploration. You're actually going down this dark cave and... You have to bring this with you. Material leaf. Poison blue. So, we came from down here and there was another section to explore in this dark cave. Which I actually suspect might be an alternate entrance to the boss. Maybe. And again, maybe not. Maybe it's nothing. Yeah, because you can go further in. It's another giant dirty rat. You rat bastard. Die. Immunizing cured white meat. Nomadic warrior's cookbook, which gave me some more recipes. And a golden room. Well, you see, the thing is, now I know where the boss is. Kind of. Oh, I can't go back. But we're gonna make a beeline for the boss. So now that we've done that, I'm not gonna waste any more materials in healing myself. We're just gonna go like this. And I'm going to make a beeline for the boss of this place. So the boss would be... There's that, that. We come from over there. We just run straight here. Straight through here. Through here. And in there. And something tells me we might actually need to have the... Poison things well in hand. Also, let's go ahead and remove this and this from there. Let's hope I don't need the torch while I'm running down this boss. Let's hope I don't have to fight the boss in goddamn poisonous terrain, because that would suck. Alrighty then. Can I summon her, by the way? No. Okay. Let's go in. Looks like materials instantly respawn. Like, they want you to actually... Craft stuff. Eesh. We stopped it just in time. That was perfect. Now we go through here. Nice, nice, nice. Well, about that whole poison thing. Oh god.
poison. That's fine. Poison I can handle. Miranda the Blighted Balloon was the name of this thing. Viridian Amber Medallion. Ooh, that is definitely going to come in handy. That looks like a poison resist charm. That looks like a poison resist charm. That is definitely going to come in handy whenever we need to go to a poison location. Good, 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 good. Very good. Very good. Let's go ahead and uh, rest. If y'all excuse me. That's rather nice. Thank you very much. Can we level up? Yes, we can, baby. 19 on the way. Let's go. That's another dungeon under the belt. Another boss defeated. We are looking mighty fine. Okay, now that we've done that, want to go to the Weeping Ever Jail, which is actually very close by. And luckily enough, there will be statues of Marika. Because I know we're going to have to reset this bad boy a bunch of times, right? Ooh, can I actually go up here? Like to the very top? You can. Hello. Divine fortification. I need to look up what that does. Let's take a quick look-see, shall we? Inventory is full. Ashes of War, Divine Fortification. Would that be like a shield? Also, which one do we get? Was it the... It was not the Missionaries, it was Nomadic. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 1. Bone Arrow, Glowstone, Invigorating Cured Meat, White Cured Meat, Poison Grease. This is probably the one. Drawsting Poison Grease. Okay, so this is to poison your weapon. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Okay, so now that we have that... Oh, that one requires stone keys. Interesting. Anyway, the, the, I, I kind of forgot the thing that I was actually looking for, which was... Divine Fortificate. It's actually an incantation. Increases holy damage negation. Okay, I thought it was going to be like an Ash of War, but never mind. So these things are actually not aggressive. Okay, what, what do you want here? So it already has one, so it should only need one. Use stone sword key. Yep. Chunk. And now we can go in there and fight it. Am I ready for this? Nope. Let's go in anyway. Enter the Everjail. Yes. Yes, please. Ancient Hero of Zamor. Ow. No, 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 none of this frost bitten. Fighting cowboy. I had a, I had a. PvP session with Fighting Cowboy taught me all about Frostbitten and Elden Ring. Am I able to backstab this dude? I don't think I will. Don't make me go back there and beat you with a goddamn boat anchor. Uh oh! That's not good. I am so lucky, because my, my main two-handed attack lowers me, which makes me invulnerable to those attacks. This is hilarious. <laughs> well, depending on where I'm standing, of course. Got him, though. I was betting on that trade right there. Oh, I didn't got him on that one, though. That would have been nasty. We're about to get frostbitten, which we definitely don't want. This frostbite friggin' hurts enough to actually kill me. Bastard! 
Oh, this is very dangerous. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, buddy. Got him. Midway through the air, ancient hero of Zamor is down. Radagon's Scar Seal. All right, then. Not too shabby, first try. Expected to not do it on first try, to be honest. All righty, then. Let's take a quick look-see here, shall we? So this is, like I said, old tree sap. Um, now with Viridian Ember Inlaid boosts... Oh, this actually boosts maximum stamina. Earth Tree's old sap becomes Ember treasured as the most precious of jewels in the Age of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. But more little life energy resides inside. And I engraved with an Elden Rune, set to be the seal of King Consort Radagon. Raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity, but also increases damage taken. These seals represent the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. How much? Uh, it's like three strength. Yeah, three strength, three and it's plus three to every stat that it says it increases. That is very nice. That is very nice. I don't like the idea of taking more damage. I don't know how much more damage it is. But imagine it's significant. Oh, we have to actually equip this in order for it to work. Okay. Okay. For now, I think I'll keep what I've got. We have we get like so much more HP. It's almost like a hundred HP. Maybe I'll think about it, but not right now. Not at this exact juncture. I swear I just heard, like, a, a scarab somewhere, but it might be... There's definitely a scarab somewhere here. Oh, it's an HP one, though. We've been down there, we didn't really find anything, so I guess that's that. Uh, these are done when they're marked in the map. Pretty much, well, they're not done, but I'm... I don't want to mark them, though. I know I've done these two. There doesn't appear to be as many as dungeons, so I don't, not, I don't really feel the need to mark those. But I guess that would be whatever this zone happens to be called. I guess it's a... Limgrave South. Because then we have Limgrave East. Um, I think it's time for us to actually start moving upwards towards Stormvale. Because we still haven't done Stormvale. And that's kind of like one of the first things we're supposed to be doing. So we're going to go to Gatefront. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the main door. Because like the main door, from what I remember, was a goddamn cluster. Yep. Seems about the same cluster that it was. Which is like a terrible way of crossing this place. I kind of have to do it though, because there might be items in here. So let's just take our time. Is there a ballista? Oh, there's a bunch of crossbowmen. Okay, so we'll just fight him first. Got the frames. Frames. Can I get some more frames, please? It's gonna be very hard to fight this guy with these frames. <clears throat> Ow! Goddamn prick. Yep, up yet. Dude, these frames! What the hell?
Like my inputs aren't even registering properly. can't, dude. What the hell? Like, look at the wasted... Dude, they really need to do, like, an optimization pass on this. Like, what the hell? Like, this is damn near unplayable, dude. Like, look at this. It's like I'm playing in slow-mo and then fast-forward. I hope they do like a day one patch for you guys, because otherwise, oof. God damn it, where's the- oh, you little- Are you for real? Are you for real right now, bro? Can't believe this crap. Ooh, a brass shield. That would have been nice a while ago. So, guard boost 56, guard boost 48. I'm assuming guard boost is like stability. Right? That's what I would imagine. Um, let's take a look here. Help would be this button. No, no, no. Explanation. Give me the explanation to guard boost. The stability of the... Yes, yeah, stability. Literally stability. Why, why do you have to change the name? Just call it stability. The higher this value, the smaller the amount of stamina consumed when guarding attacks. The problem is that this one has... Oh, dude, but it's got, like, better block for everything. I like it. I like it. It's like a kite shield. I'll use this one for now. I'll see if I can notice, like, the stamina difference. A lump of flesh. And at the end of this struggle, there was uh, nothing to be gained. Fantastic. There's no actual items in here or anything. And it's dark as hell. Okay, let's grab this and the golden rune. Well, no item's worth a damn, anyway. Uh, let's take a look-see here. I mean, we got a shield out of it, I guess, so that was worth. What is this? Nothing. What's... What's one of these skulls? Hi! An ambush. That was dirty. You dirty bastard. Dirty bastards, all of you. Now I'm gonna put you all down. Put you down like a clown. Put you down like a clown. How do you feel about that? Godric soldier grieves. Don't care about them. Ooh! A surcoat. Can I wear that? Heavy load. That's some heavy armor. Uh, what about if I was to use this and then just, like, not use this? Still heavy load. Ooh, that is a heavy armor you got there, buddy. These, is there a lighter version of these? No, all of these are heavy as hell. So, yeah, in order to wear that, I have to sacrifice way too much. So we'll keep the page guard for now. Eventually, we're going to start putting more points into endurance. I'm still disappointed that strength no longer buffs uh, your equipment weight. I feel like that would have been the right thing to do. I think it makes sense. So, yeah. But, you yeah, know... Tis what it is. Uh, let's check out the top of that bridge, because that's where the Colossus was. Storm Hill. 
We got another jail right there. Anyway, just looks like ruined fragments over there. Looks like an item on the other side. This is ruined fragments. No, that's actually a golden rune. I want to go over to the tree, though. What is this? Another golden seed. Oh, so these trees are always golden seeds. Nice. What is this? Smithing stone? What is that? Wolves. I don't need to kill these wolves. I just wanted to get, like, the items that were in there. Oh, damn. That's a whole lot of trolls in there. So I want to go into the towers and figure out the towers, see if the... What? It's in a wall, though. Oh, but that's, um, that's an HP one, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so there is an item here. Smoldering butterfly, really? Uh, I don't want to go this way. Let's go around to the other side. Let's see if we can enter the tower. Dude, these frame rate drops are driving me insane. Insane in the membrane. Got insane, got no brain. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Hey, Brosif. Damn, you don't get staggered from that, really? No. Oh. Don't scream at me. I'm not scared of you. Just because you can scream. I can scream too. Bah! Oh, this dude's got a big-ass greatsword. Damn, that's a lot of stamina damage, bro. Don't do that. Okay, that's my flasks back. Nice. Arrows reach talisman. This seems like some range nonsense. Increases bow effective ranged. Who, who could have thought? Alright, what else? That was it? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Lots and lots of wolves. Gotcha. And there it is, the thing. It, it is HP, so it's like, I don't care. So here's the jail. Oh, let's visit the place where you could get, like, little squid, bro. See if he's there. There should be a Colossus in here, right? There it is. I was on the wrong side. Damn it. That's what you get, you dumb bats. That's what y'all get for being dumb. That's what y'all get for being dumb. Congratulations. I love how he just stomped, stamped out the birds like they were nothing. Like, stamp, stamp, stamp. It's a good thing we had to practice, though, in that uh, late-game area that we got ported to. 
That was a good practice for these dudes. Oh, that was a- Oh, God, no! How convenient. My souls were right there. Okay, so we're gonna head in here, and I'm actually gonna go into this uh, jail. The 10,000 runes, but should be fine. Crucible knife. He's got the big sword. Can I get the shield instead? Well, that's an ugly looking shield. Hey, you don't have to be offended just because I think your shield's ugly, bro. Would I be able to backstab you by chance? Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit harder. Tough as nails. We're definitely dying. No openings whatsoever. Okay, so after careful deliberation, I decided not to pursue this one for now because I feel like I don't have enough damage or maybe even like a different damage type because like when I'm hitting the guy, it just doesn't feel particularly impactful. I figured out his first phase, second phase, particularly more complex and I'm going to be dying just way too much. Uh, for no reason, so I'm gonna explore some more before I return to this one. And I'm actually gonna be changing the way that I mark things on the map by basically marking the things that I haven't done, as opposed to marking the things that I did do. Which is, uh, a much better way of going about it, so... Yeah, I'm probably gonna be marking this one as something that I'll have to return to. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit a double like. This is the first boss they're kind of moving away from which is a good thing it's a very good thing but um yeah we'll figure this out thank you all very much for hanging out see you guys in the next one stay strong stay safe peace out